Hey everyone, it's Foxkey. Bit more of a to form video this time. My last post was a bit of an experiment that I hope to do more of coming into the release of Zen Zone Zero, but I just wanted to quickly jump on the topic of the 1.05 stars and who I think you should be setting yourself towards going forward and why I'm making the decision that I'm making. Going through the basics, they're both attack type units who are meant to deal damage on the team, and selfish characters with how they don't give much utility that can be capitalised on with other characters than the team, outside of things like sets and weapons obviously. Uh, both characters also have a stacking mechanic that they can unleash to deal heavily increased damage that's also infused with their elemental type. So what actually splits these two units apart, because they play basically the same, not really though, is that Ellen gets the stacks entirely through herself and her on-field presence, while Zhu Yan plays around a stunner character to quickly switch in and deal a few instances of hard-hitting focused damage. Obviously one is Ice and one is Ether. To discuss teams, it's important to say that Ellen's teams are far more complete and have a significantly stronger core because all of her good teams barely have a flex option. Ellen pulls, you are living and dying on whether or not you get Lycaon from your standard pulls or not, because in teams where he's allowed to breathe, being, you know, Ice or Victoria housekeeping cores, where you're actually activating his full kit, he's quite frankly broken, you know, while also being quite good outside of that. Now I'm not saying we roll, uh, personally I find that process really annoying, but it's your prerogative. Uh, Sakaku is going to be a strong and free option for your final slot, or if you can get her you can also use Reina. I can't really tell you who's better at the moment because we don't have access to the game yet and I'm not a beta enjoyer myself, but I can guarantee you those will be the choices you will have to work with. For Zhu Yan, it's far simpler. Nicole is your default support simply because she's the only other ether unit in the game, and you can use her for speed triggering the corruption reaction and have her hold the specific ether set because the four piece buffs your whole team because it debuffs the enemy. And this also lets Zhu Yan run one of the electro sets. I'm thinking Woodpecker personally because of that free crit rate. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's calling me. Uh, and then you can also pair that with a two-piece ether because you have six slots maximum. So you can spread out the buffs and sets you have across your gear and across your three party members. Since Jian is quite desperate for a stunner, Anbi can activate her whole kit thanks to Nicole and serves as a decent slot in. So having this core available also happens to make Jian's team entirely free to play and allows you to invest into it right from the start of the game as you receive Anbi and Nicole in the early chapters of the story. I think they share a comparable list of pros and cons, you know, Ellen and Zhu Yan, with Ellen requiring a faster pace of investment alongside a little bit of luck in exchange for an entirely complete and really strong team. But Zhu Yan has a team as soon as her banner drops towards the end of the month that's entirely free and still cohesive, but lacking ideally a stunner character from her own faction. The last point that I think is relatively important is that at some point in the future we'll be witnessing the Arby's release, another attack roll ice character specialised in dealing damage, with all the same team composition benefits as Ellen if you use Sokaku. We obviously don't know when she's releasing, but we did see a piece of her kit, very subject to change mind you, back in the first closed beta. Essentially she plays around with her ghost gal pal, uh, infusing her weapon with ice, which it will do on the final two attacks of a basic combo and completing the basic combo will also provide a stack and getting three of them will give you an enhanced charge attack that also deals ice damage. With her skills and ultimate being just little bursts of ice damage and not much else. At least from that incredibly early footage, we can assume she'll play very similarly to Ellen. Whether or not she'll be stronger, I can't say. My final opinion is this, if you're trying to pull for power right now, without any consideration for the future whatsoever, you should try to complete Ellen's mono or duo ice team. You will require Lycaon, basically all the time, but after that, it's in the bag. A very strong team with arguably the best anomaly build up in the game, lots of free crits, lots of free crowd control, and a full team of very strong characters no matter what your quote unquote flex option is. If you're going to stick with Z's for a decent while, and you want to ensure a bit of longevity in your built teams, go for Julien. Her teams should get much stronger pretty quickly, and with Miyabi's release at any point in the future, you know, possibly even before Ellen's first rerun you won't be missing out on any strong teams, in the ice variety. You can also be comfortable in knowing that your Zhu Yan will be able to do competitive damage despite her team flaws of 1.0 straight out of the box. Now, if you'd like to stick around for my personal opinions on Ellen, I think she's honestly a cool character, after the trailers and demos put a bit more into her. Watching a little slice of life moments and a little unconditional friends is nice, and it makes me appreciate her place in the context of that group in the demos and the trailers pretty hard. But I just, I really can't get behind 
the maid vigilante thing. I think more specifically, the maid thing. Each time I see it, I feel like I'm missing a piece of the actual character. So while the demos made me appreciate her a little more, over just hating the weird animations and style, I think I much prefer Ellen as the NPC student over the strongest ice DPS in the game. So she's getting hard skipped for Julien. Not necessarily because of any of the benefits I listed for you, uh, just because I like Julien more than Ellen. Uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, I strive to do more of them in the future, and since I'll actually be able to play the game, I hope there'll be a bit more than just feels crafty discussions about what I think will work out. Hope to see you soon!